What is going on, dude? That's a dead bull here. Bring you back some more trailer accident today. We have Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I guess they finally released a trailer. Uh, and it's coming out February 17, 2023. Okay, that's sooner than I expected. I kind of thought it would be out like next year, like a full year from now, but look at that. It's only a few months away. But yeah, this trailer came out like a day or two ago, and I've been like trying desperately to ignore like all the the news about it and stuff from like screenshots i've only seen one and i think it was of kang like standing above something i don't know but but let's get into it let's see what this is about i used to ask myself a lot of questions scott you're at ex-con how are you an avenger that doesn't make sense huh. but everywhere i go people tell me the same thing oh they're actually hey, together together now yeah People still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. Oh yeah, they changed like her a actor. Satellite for deep space, but Quanta. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Mm. Turn it off now. I don't know why she didn't just turn it off. Now they're going to be stuck there for another five years. No oh, damn. Where are we? Am I gonna come down? That's very visually appealing to me. I don't know. What the hell? What is that? It's a secret universe beneath ours. Do they have their suits? So I guess not. There's something I never told you. Oh, uh, there's an actual civilization there. That's pretty cool. This place. Oh. It isn't what you think. That's what I saw. Damn. I can get you home. Give you more time. Ooh, somebody's gonna die. If you help me. So, what's it gonna be? Batman. Hmm. That's it. Okay. Who do you think I can give you more time? What do you think he means by that? I think it's funny that all their suits are different colors, but ooh, that's a really good picture right there. All right, he looks pretty accurate. Uh, I'm guessing he's not blue. It's just because like, you know, he shows up over here. It's just like light reflecting off of like a visor thing that he has that makes him look blue. They're still not going full. All right, comic booky, you're you're blue you're a blue person see they put janet van dyne and uh hank pym here when he says that i can give you more time to like insinuate that they might be the ones that die which you know they very well might be but i feel like that would be too on the nose like the old people yeah they die you know the mentor figures oh man he's fucked up but i don't think paul rudd or i don't think ant-man like his character is done, you know, like especially this this character. I think st I just think it's too soon to kill off his character already, you know. I mean, I know there is another Ant Man that takes up the mantle after uh, Scott Lang, but ah, well, I mean, there is they are setting up Ant Girl over here, so who knows? But. I still feel like it's too soon. Like uh, somebody needs to mentor her. And I guess, you know, it could be, she already has a suit. So maybe she already has some lessons, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's just too early for one of these two to die yet. You know, probably in the next Avengers movie. Then. Yeah. And also he's kind of a joke character. Like he's not a joke character, but he's a very like comic relief character. So I feel like, I feel like killing a comic relief character like Ant-Man wouldn't really have an emotional impact. It would just be like, ah, 
that sucks. You know, like the funny guy's dead. God damn it. You know, but to me, all the Ant-Man films have been, you know, pretty like average. You know, I, I had fun with the first one and I had fun with the second one. They're nothing groundbreaking. You know, who the hell is this? What is this even? <laughs> what the heck? I like how they're just getting more out there with their like character designs, you know? But yeah, this one does look like it's going to be like less of an Ant-Man film and more of like a world expandy film. You know, it's just expanding the universe of the Marvel universe. Here's the quantum realm. Here's King. Here's the society that lives in the quantum realm. Uh, here's the new ant girl in her suit, you know, but I guess we'll see on February 17th. Let's see. Let's see the comments. Uh, this has potential to be the best of the Ant-Man movies. I, I agree. Because, like, there's a, they're going way out there this time, you know. The last two Ant-Man movies were very much centered around, like, one goal. While this one, it's a, it's kind of a mystery. You know, they're going into the quantum realm. They don't, I guess they're trying to get out. But also, the world expanding, you know, that they're doing. The other ones were just, like, very contained stories, I'd say. You know, Yellow Jacket, you gotta stop him and, you know, keep your ant-man serum formula thing and uh the second one ghost you know they're, they're trying to they're trying to stop her and all that and they have a you know fun kooky shenanigans and uh, on the way it's like a fun adventure you know but this one i don't know if it will be more serious you know just because it's ant-man and this is marvel and that's kind of their whole shtick you know a joke every five minutes but it definitely looks like it's a wider scope than the last two Ant-Man movies. It's kind of like it's kind of like the Captain America like trilogy. It's like the first two are solo movies, and then the sec or the third one are is a freaking Avengers movie. <laughs> Except this one's not to that level. Let's read more. The fact that in Loki he was so cheerful and joyful, but how in this he's both calm and menacing by just a single sentence. Hmm. More time. If you help me, so what's it gonna be? Batman. Yeah, I don't really get menacing off that, but uh, to each their own. He just seems like a guy trying to like scheme his way. That's the vibe I get. Like he's scheming. I love how vastly different. I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. He is very different than he who remains to this king. But like, that's because that dude was fucking insane. Like, <laughs> and not insane like the Joker. I mean, just like he should probably be in a mental hospital. Like this dude was having like a breakdown. It seemed like the whole time he was just smiling through it. When Thanos came out and said, you thought you could get rid of me, get ready for some quantum mania that literally sent chills down my back. Oh my God. I think I saw, uh, Mudahar post something on Twitter. He was like, Oh, the Grand Theft Auto six trailer looked great. And somebody, somebody uh, commented, uh, my favorite part of the trailer was when the main character said it's grand theft in time. And then he thefted all over the place. <laughs> ah, I love how that meme just never dies. And like, just these random, like <laughs> funny comments. They're just everywhere, man. Uh, but already guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And if you ever really appreciate it, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye. I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease, bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some amigos to the face, baby, I don't need